Good day everyone! I'm Jandalyn M. Domingo, a student nurse from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. Today, I'm going to discuss or perform how to administer oxygen by mass. Oxygen therapy is a means to provide oxygen according to target saturation rates as per physician orders or hospital protocol to achieve normal or near normal oxygen saturation levels for acute and chronically ill patients. Those administering oxygen must monitor the patient to keep the saturation levels within the required target range. Oxygen should be reduced or discontinued in stable patients with satisfactory oxygen saturation levels. Administering oxygen by mass. An oxygen mask provide a method to transfer breathing oxygen gas from a storage tank to the lungs. Oxygen mask may cover only the nose and mouth or the entire face. They may be made of plastic, silicone, or rubber. Goal: The patient exhibit an oxygen saturation level within acceptable parameters. It is commonly used to provide relief to people with respiratory disorder. For the equipment, check for oxygen delivery device as ordered by healthcare provider. Check for oxygen tubing. Consider extension tubing. Check for humidifier if indicated. Check for sterile water for humidifier. Check for oxygen source. Check for oxygen flow meter. And check for appropriate room size. For implementation, first you need to bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or overbed table for you to save time, energy, and effort. Second, we need to perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. Third, we need to identify the patient. After identifying the patient, we need to close the curtains around bed and close the door to the room if possible. Explain what you are going to do and the reason for doing it to the patient. Review safety precautions necessary when oxygen is in use. Place no smoking signs in appropriate areas. Attach face mask to oxygen source or with humidification if appropriate for the specific mask. Start the flow of oxygen at a specified rate. For a mask with a reservoir, be sure to allow oxygen to fill the bag before proceeding to the next step. Position face mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Adjust the elastic strap so that the mask fits snugly but comfortably on the face. Adjust the flow rate to the prescribed rate. If the patient reports irritation or redness is noted, use gauze pads under the elastic strap at pressure points to reduce irritation to ears and scalp. Next, we need to reassess patient's respiratory status including respiratory rate, effort, and lung sounds. Note any signs of respiratory distress such as tachypnea, nasal flaring, and use of accessory mask. Remove PPE if used, perform hand hygiene, and document. Remove the mask and dry the skin every 2-3 to to hours if the oxygen is running continuously. Do not use powder around the mask. 